over again at Sayre Lake. I don't know how many fish I've caught today. I've caught a bunch. I'm going to have to keep this one because he uh, made himself bleed. You're allowed to keep any fish you catch here. Five little ones and five big ones. Caught him on a minnow and a simple Aberdeen hook. So this little guy stole my baby. He's beautiful. Beautiful little baby. His mama the best. All right, guys. I'm sorry you didn't catch a bunch of fish. This is a nice size bluegill here. And I need some fish to eat. So I'm going to take him home. I have one crappie, only because it hurt itself. So I have to take it home and eat it. But this one, I just want to eat it. Let's go hit it quick. It's a nice little bass. Oh, he's stripping my line. These things are so beautiful. It's a perfect largemouth bass. Just perfect. So beautiful. These tiny fish will hit on a great big lure. Look at that. He was greedy. You wanted to eat that, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Off you go. That's two casts in a row that I caught a fish now. This is fun. This is a Kitec, three inch Kitec uh, swim bait. I forget what it's called. But you can see how simple the colors are. It's got some sparkies in there. And these really work. I love these Kitec baits. This is Foster. Joseph Sayer Lake. It's Joseph Sayer Dam over there. And I haven't been here much this year. It's only my second trip. And we caught a bunch of fish the last time. It's on the video. And I've caught a pretty good handful today. I've, I've caught 11 or 12 fish. Small and largemouth bass, perch, bluegills, and a bunch of crappie. Uh, I don't know, six or seven crappie. But it's only 3.35. And when we got here, the wind was just horrible. This lake was all big waves. And it was hard to manage the boat. It wouldn't sit still. The anchor wouldn't even hold it. But look how nice and calm it's gotten. And it's probably going to stay this way. And the right time to be fishing at this lake. It's pretty late in the afternoon. Evening, really. If you only had two hours to fish, you would fish between 5.30 and 7.30 or 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock or 6.30 and 8.30. And it depends on which day, but all those hours are really, really good. I call them the witching hour. But at the end of the day, the fishing gets really good. Not that I'm not having fun. I truly am. Well, I also like to catch fish, so let's get with it, fishies. Come on. My fish finder is not showing fish. It's just one here and there. They're scattered at all depths. And I think they're out in deep water. They're out there in deep water, and after a while, they'll come closer to the edge, and we'll start killing them. And the very next cast I have one on, and it's a bass. Nope, it's a bluegill. It's a pretty one. And it's not even a bluegill, it's a small crappie. And it's just beautiful, look at him. He's really dark, and this is why they call them black crappie. But they're not always black like that, they don't always have those dark colors in them. This is a hormonal thing, it's associated with when they're nesting. They're still biting now and then. It hasn't been super busy, but I'm having fun. It's a beautiful day. Getting to be evening. I'm seeing a lot of fish on the fish finder. Thought I think it's time to for the bite to really start. That's a beautiful fish. 
Oh, he's a jumper. It's a nice little bass. I caught him on a swim bait. And he let go. And that's okay. He was just a little guy. Boy, that was fun. That was fun. I'm starting to get hits on this three inch swim bait. Now, this is not a Kai Tech, but it's very similar. You can see it's very colorful. It's got sparklies on it. I think I'm going to start catching a bunch of fish now. These fish are not on the bottom right now. They're suspended. I have another pole with two minnows on it, and they're both right on the bottom. And it's not doing anything. I think casting this little swim bait is the way to go now. Get those suspended fish. When you're swimming a swim bait, you can swim it at any depth you want until you find the right depth for the fish. I think I might have found it because I'm getting strikes like crazy. Oh, shoot. I almost lost my other pole. <laughs> I guess that was wrong. There are some fish on the bottom. And look at that. They took that minnow and they took that minnow. I'll be done. I just spotted a huge school of fish right under the boat. The instant I put this in, I had a fish on. He ate both of the hooks. There's one hook, and there's the other one. He was very hungry. And those two little fishies were about a foot and a half apart, so he had to be aggressive. So I just put that in, and already I got a hit. I'm using a bobber, and the two hooks are suspended four or five feet underneath it. These fish are all suspended. They're not on the bottom today. And this is fun. This is why I go fishing. There's a ridiculous number of fish on the fish finder. And of course I drifted away from the spot where I really saw a lot. But I'm going back. The fish had moved deeper. Took the boat looking around trying to find fish and I found a bunch of fish way deeper. They had actually left the 13, 15 foot area where I had spotted them earlier. They went to find a new place. Let's see if I can get these guys out of here. Here's another nice little fishy. Oh, it's happening too much. It's okay, I'm having fun. Yep, another one got away. Well, I'm trying to fish with two poles, and this is going to happen. And I don't care. I'm having fun. <laughs> There's another one. I think he's on there good. Yeah, he is. That's a beautiful fish. Just look at him. So pretty. Yep. I think I've probably caught 15 crappie today. That's not a lot. I used to catch a lot more, but I've caught them and some bass, and a perch, and a bluegill. Oh, there's that great big fish just jumped out of the water. I don't know if you heard that. He's a big one. Now I'm seeing a tremendous number of fish on the fish finder. Look at all those fish on there. Yep, a lot of them are way up near the surface. And I got another one. Oh, he got off. I got to quit looking around when I'm supposed to be fishing. Look at all the fish on there. Every one of those is a fish. There's another one. 
Boy, they're going crazy now. They're going nuts. One right after the other. Yep. It's a nice little crappie. They're not huge, but they're beautiful and they're so plentiful. And they are so much fun to catch. Let's get another one. I dropped this in there and it hit and he let go. So I just let it sit there and sure enough he came back and took it again. He did not want to give up that piece of meat. Yes, these fish are very hungry. Very hungry fishies. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Bye bye. And we'll get another one. My line untangled here. And there we go. Toss it right out there, same spot. And we'll count, see how long it takes to get a bite. That's the spot. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. You keep counting. Yep. Oh, quick. There he is again. Oh, goodness. I got to let him take it all the way down. Come on. Don't give it. There he goes. Oh, they're grabbing hold of the tail of the fish. And there he's running with it. He's, oh, they grab a hold of the tail of the fish and they pull on it. They take it down, but they don't take the whole hook. So I just let him take it all the way up. That didn't work either. I just had six bites in quick quick succession there. Is that another one? There he goes. Oh. They're just playing with it. I think they probably took all those little fishies off. Because now they're not even hitting it. If there was meat there, they'd be going for it. Thank you.